why I chose this topic was I, back home, live on 46 acres, so it's something that me and my family do a lot, um, especially me and my brother, whether it's either to work out or to just have some fun or to get rid of trees to give light to other trees and other plants there. Um, but my three main points I'll be talking about will be safety tips, um, the process itself, off safety. Um, there's, there's a lot of different components to it. Um, I know it looks weird, but the proper terminology is where to fell the tree, so felling it. Um, so basically where you want it to land. Um, and then another one is axe swinging. And you always want to be sure whenever you're swinging an axe to make sure that no one is around you. Um, you always want to swing it in a very firm uh, motion, not a circular, because if you miss or you swing off the tree, you might hit your feet or your leg. Um, you always want to make sure you're not tired when you do it. And then eye protection. Um, when you're cutting the tree, wood chips might fly out and it's been commonly known that you can get many eye bombs by just being hit in the face with wood chips. Uh, and boots for the axe, just in case. Uh, the process, the first step. <coughs> You want to determine where you want to land the tree. Where is it going to do the least amount of damage? So whenever you, once you find the tree, you want to survey the area and find out where you want it to land. Next, you want to begin cutting the side of the tree that you want it to fall towards. The cut should be about a third of the way through, and you're going to want to make a notch, like an angled notch, that basically shows the tree where it's going to go, and it's going to be um, at about a 45 degree angle. Once you're done with that, uh, or real quick, um, why you want to do an angled notch, um, not only for the direction of helping the tree fall, but it cuts the wood faster than just coming at it horizontally. You get the, uh, the wood out of the tree instead of just swinging it over and over and having it stay in the tree so it's more resistance. Next, once you have the first side cut, you switch sides to the opposite and you cut slightly above the notch so you can see that these guys who are like professional woodcutters, they all have their notch and now they switch sides and are pitting it about here on it. And that's what's that gonna what's that is gonna do is force the tree downwards into the notch. Um, you're gonna continue swinging until you either start to hear a cracking noise of the wood cracking, or you see the base sw uh, swaying. So if a, it's a big tree, you'll start to see the base kind of wobble. Um, you're going to want to be cautious and ready for the tree to fall in any direction just in case. So, kind of going back to safety, have an escape route plan. And the tree should fall downwards into the notch that you cut, but be prepared for whatever. And an old tradition and practice is to yell at timber whenever you start to hear the tree falling. Uh, what to do with the lumber? It's obviously for firewood, for natural fires at your house. In winter time when it gets cold, uh, that's basically what we did at my house, the main source of our fires were. Um, larger branches for construction projects. We were a very nature family, so we would build like little huts out of the larger branches and stuff. It's kind of weird, but. Um, also, you can let it sit and decay and become like a natural habitat for uh, all sorts of plant life. And my statistic, from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. The number of fatality and fatal injuries nationally was 184 among the tree trimmers and equipment during 2006 to 2008. So it's really important to be safe with, ever, with uh, cleaning down the trees, especially with an axe.